Thank you again for joining us at www.baosafety.com and www.baosecurity.com. Here we're talking to an individual that's out here at the Noodles and Company meeting, and we're talking about being a victim of a crime. So we're going to discuss this earlier. You said that you were a victim of a crime? Yes, I was. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, last year, somebody tried to break into my garage. Uh, we had the uh, onset of break-ins in my neighborhood, and they tried to get in my garage. If someone tried to break into his garage, and there was an onset of a series of problems in the neighborhood, and tell us what happened when they did that. Well, they actually got in and stole some items, and um, that was about it. I mean, I didn't catch them in that, but I wish I would. Okay, and how did you feel when they stole these items? How did I feel? How did you feel? I was highly upset. I wish I would have caught them in that. And, and what do you think would have happened had you caught them in the act of stealing your things from your garage? I don't think I would put that on. You know what? It's a good idea. Maybe you won't do that. But you know what? A lot of other crimes are committed because of people just like yourself that actually catch people in the act and then it keeps going. And then it just is a snowball effect of a horrible, horrible situation. What do you think could have prevented this from happening? Uh, I talked to my local association and we talked about putting up a privacy gate at the entrance of our complex to stop some of the uh, unwanted traffic. And uh, outside of that, I never really thought about it. My garage went all the way closed. I should have closed my garage. Okay, is there some reason that you did not have a security system on your garage? There's some type of protection type system to prevent that type of thing from happening? Well, when the people came and installed my alarm system, they said I didn't need it on the garage, just that inner door going into the house. Uh, they probably, if they would have told me I needed it, I probably would have got it. See, here we have a young man who trusts the people that he gets advice from to take care of his personal property and his home. And here we have a horrible crime into place, a violation of his personal property and his personal space. This is why it's so important to look at these home security and personal protection products. So we're going to show you a product in a minute, but we want to know what you think about this product. Hi, and welcome back to www.baosecurity.com and www.baosafety.com. That's B-A-O spelled B-I-E-O-S security.com. Today we're going to demonstrate how the mini motion sensor works. This is an amazing personal protection and home business security product because what it does is you simply open the bottom like this. There's a lever right here, right here, and then the actual alarm section right here. It has the turn off on switch right here. You take that switch, you click it to the on position or the alarm position. You put the motion device anywhere that you feel like would be safe to, de to detect motion. You leave the area, go back to your gardening, whatever it is you choose to work on, okay? That alarm takes a second to activate, so you give it a few seconds to go ahead and activate. When an intruder comes into the area of the motion of the sensor, as such, it picks up any of the motion. And then as you can hear, it sounds an alarm. As such, you take the pitch, go ahead, and you switch it to the off position. It deactivates the motion sensor alarm. You go ahead and close it, reset it, restation it, or put it back into your pocket. And there we have it. The motion sensor alarm, the mini motion sensor alarm, also works as a personal alarm as you're carrying the device. What you do is you open it up, you reveal that. You take this and you can push it like that and remove the top as well. Sensor alarm also works as an illumination device or a flashlight device. You press the same button that you would for the panic, but it's in the off panic or off alarm position. You push the button as such, and it works as a flashlight. Now, the mini alarm also functions as a personal alarm. You simply pull the button on the top, like that, you push it back in to deactivate the device. So it functions as a multitude 
of alarm devices. The mini motion sensor alarm can be found at exclusive places such as www.baosecurity.com and www.baosafety.com.